What is going on you guys? This is J Pro Gaming with another video. This video I'm going to be talking about some different swing types to use for your created player. I'm going to go over a few here today. I'm going to go over three or four players here and we'll kind of go from there. But if you guys have not subscribed, if you do enjoy this video, if you do enjoy my content, um, please subscribe, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you know when these videos go live. And this actually, this video goes along with another video that I did before. I will link that in the comment section below. It is my created player, how to build the best created player. I'll link that in the description, or sorry, in the comment section below. Take a look at that. It kind of correlates to this. So let's jump into it. All right, this first stance is the stance I'm currently rocking now. It is the Chipper Jones stance. It is not his 2008, I believe, is his stance. This is his normal stance that he used later in his career, and I have absolutely fell in love with this stance. It's a little bit more open, which I like. He does have quick hands. It is a two-handed swing, so he does get the hands through the zone pretty quick, and he does have good. He does have a good launch angle with this swing. So I'll go over this more in detail, but I'm gonna go over a few of these here. The first one we're gonna look at is Chipper Jones. The next one we're gonna go over is this Kenny Lofton. This Kenny Lofton is a very glitchy swing. I am currently leading him off. I don't think I can take him out of my lineup just because he is so good. This is obviously me batting right-handed, but he is a lefty. Uh, he has a little open stance, but his hands are just so quick. They are already in the position to basically swing the bat. So he's basically gonna take, I will break down his swing his hands where they are now and basically cut wood directly to the ball. I will go over that a little bit, but Kenny Lofton is the second player we are gonna look at. The third swing we'll look at is this Alberto Mondesi. The third one we're gonna look at is this Alberto Mondesi. He is a switch hitter, so when creating a, obviously a creative player, you're gonna wanna switch hitter. There's no reason not to, but this is a perfect swing. He already has his hands in a position that like Kenny Lofton are just basically gonna go and he's got a two-handed swing so it's gonna be through the zone a lot faster. Uh, I'll break down his swing here shortly and we'll jump to the last one here. The last one I'm gonna go over here is this Charlie Blackman. Uh, again he has a two-handed swing he finishes with two hands and he has his hands obviously already set in position just ready to go. Semi open not very much very very slight but he does get his hands through the zone quick and he can get to those outside inside pitches very fast. I will go over his swing. We're gonna go over all four of these here today and I'm gonna break them down and show you exactly why they are very glitchy and very good swings to use. All right, so as you see here, this Kenny Lofton, his hands do start a little bit above his chest and his back elbow is up. Um, I'm gonna actually just play his swing right here uh, I did just get a base hit, so I'm going to show you exactly how his swing looks. I'm going to do it in slow motion. So his hands, watch his hands go directly from where they are to the ball. Boom. There's no load. It basically, he does have, I guess, a semi-load right there. So look how quick it goes from there to there. This is why two-handed swings are the best because they finish the swing super fast compared to a one-handed swing. One-handed swing, there's gonna be a little bit more lag just because it's just getting that one hand through the zone. Two-handed, when you're getting both hands through the zone, it's gonna end up finishing your swing quicker. So this is very, as he hits this inside pitch outside, this is what he does a lot. Actually, his finish, I feel like, has a lot to do with his swing as well because watch his finish. His back goes directly right to his shoulder. This is why he has a very glitchy swing. His hands get through the zone very quick. It's a short, compact swing, and he gets through the zone very fast. I'll get a different angle here real quick. So he does have a little load, but the load is coming into his body, as you see right there. So that's the load. The leg's already down. There's not a big leg kick. So if you do use strike zone, it's not gonna affect uh, your peripheral when you're looking straight at the pitcher. So he does have a very quick step, and then his hands. It goes from here. This is his load right here. Watch his hands go straight down straight down just like that perfect so that's why he's got a very glitchy swing his hands go three different positions they start they load to right there and his hands go directly to the ball two-handed swing he gets that bat through his wrist turn and the bat comes directly through very quick swing so this is one reason why Kenny Lofton has a very good swing I'll go through it one more time his hands start right here he brings it in right there and as soon as he steps his hands are going right to the ball right there. Watch the bat finish as you see right there. So the bat's already through. 
Very quick swing. Kenny Lofton is a very good swing to use. All right, so this stance is the Chipper Jones stance, just his normal stance, not his uh, 2008, I believe, is his stance. But I like this stance a lot. I've been using this stance for the last three years, actually. It is slightly open, as you see there, which I do like. He does end up closing his stance. There's not a big leg kick, which does not distract me when I'm hitting on strike zone. So I'm going to go through his swing uh, in a slow motion and then kind of break it down step by step. So here we go, we got the bat wiggle, little step, tap, come through the zone, hand straight, boom. Just like that. I'll do it a little bit faster just so you kind of see. Through. Okay, so let's break it down a little bit. So he does have a little leg tap, but that doesn't affect you at all because his, his stance is so high. If you are hitting on strike zone, it's not gonna affect you because it's further back. Hands start obviously above his shoulders. He's got a little bat wiggle, and when he loads, his hands don't really move. They just go back a little bit, and then watch his hands go straight to the ball. Quick swing. He does have a very quick swing as well, and he does have a good launch where when he finishes his swing, watch his swing. It's an uppercut swing right there, as you see. That's how he gets some launch on his pitches. This is why I love this swing, because he does have a quick swing, but he also has that launch. And then his finish, is a launch angle as you see here a lip it's obviously different than kenny lofton kenny lofton is straight through the zone like he's almost like cutting straight this one is more of a launch this is you're going to get more power out of this swing so last time we're going to go through this we're going to do his step so he starts like this he does have a, a step towards where he closes his stance which is exactly what he wants and then his hands go back just ever so slightly and then as he steps his hands go straight to the ball and the finish is a launch as you can see there there's a slight tilt in his swing it is going upwards and that's how he gets he generates some of his power with this swing so this is a good swing if you want a glitchy power slash contact swing because this is the one i am currently using um so i'm going to recommend this one very highly but just one to look at and we're going to watch his swing finish here as you see there's launch right there that's the launch and he finishes it. So that's the second one I'm gonna recommend is this Chipper Jones. All right, this is the Alberto Mondesi stance. This stance is probably the best stance to use in the game, uh, my recommendation. He is a switch hitter. The reason he does have a great stance is there is no load process and his hands, different from Kenny Lofton and Chipper Jones, go from this position right to the ball. So he can get every single pitch, high, low, speeds don't matter. Uh, he's got a swing that he can hit a fastball up at his eyes as quick as he can hit a fastball down at his knees. I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So we're going to go through his uh, his stance here real quick. Uh, this is a stance. It is a closed stance as you can see there. His foot is, uh, his right foot's closed over his left foot. But watch his hands. There is no load with his foot. Watch when I do this. Boom. Right to the ball. There is no load. There is no step. So this is why it's a very quick swing. I'll get a side angle here just to kind of break it down a little bit more. So his hands right here, here we go. So we'll start at his feet. His feet, it's a bend of the foot, straight to the ball, that's it. There's no load, he has a quick compact swing, he's got a quick compact load. So it's nothing, the body doesn't sway, it just goes directly down and it's smooth. Watch his hands, his hands go from this direction, they might come into his body just a little bit, but they go right from here, right to the ball. And of course, he has that two-handed swing that finishes super quick. And watch his wrist. His wrist, just like Kenny Lofton's, the back gets through the zone. It almost whips through the zone super fast. Right there. I'll do it again. I'll break it down. Watch his hands. Like I said, hands straight to the ball. There's no load, so that makes his swing even faster. His hands go straight to the ball. That makes it even quicker, so he can get every single pitch. Watch this. And look at this. I just love his swing. I'm going to be going back to swing at some point. I just love this Chipper swing, Chipper Jones swing right now just because I am hitting all over the place and the ball is leaving the ballpark at a good rate. So this one, obviously his hands were laid on this, but this ball actually gets driven into the gap. I didn't actually show the final video, but his this ball was outside. And look how late he is on this pitch. I'm going to show you an angle here. But he just squares it up off the end of his bat right there. 
just because he's got that quick, compact swing. He can get to that pitch. He can be late on a pitch like he is here and still absolutely drive the ball, which he does with this pitch exactly. So he drives that one into the gap. And his finish is very quick and compact like Kenny Lofton. So this is another stance to look at. I'll go through a swing just one last time just so you can see it. Hands straight to the ball. The leg, there is no load. It just kind of, he, he barely tilts it back and then just goes, explodes to the ball. Straight to the ball, hands back slightly, straight to the ball, the finish, the bat's already through the zone, the wrist is over. Super quick, super quick swing, just like that. So another one, this Alberto Mondesi, I highly recommend this one. Uh, maybe even over the Kenny Lofton. Recommendation, Alberto Mondesi might be one of the best swings in the game. All right, this last one is the Charlie Blackman. Um, he has a very compact swing, just like Kenny Lofton. Um, he is only a left-handed hitter, so this might deter you from using uh, the switch hitter with this stance, but this is a very good stance. I've used it left-handed. Uh, I've used it right-handed as well, and I've had success with it. I'm going to go through his stance real quick. I'm going to go through his swing, and then I'll break it down one more time. So I'll just play his swing here real quick in slow motion. Boom. Watch his wrist. Just turn the bat over. Bat's through. Wrists already through so he has a very good slap hitter starts in a really good position and watch his leg kick we're gonna start the leg kick the leg kick is is there's no load it just basically goes straight which makes this a very quick swing and then he slaps his wrists and hands get through the ball very quick which is why he's able to slap pitches uh he can actually pull slap pitches technically as well uh but he's actually just pulling the ball but it look it is looking like he is slapping the ball when he pulls it if that kind of makes sense but Okay, so his load with his foot is just quick, straight to the ball, right there, okay? And now let's look at his hands. His hands don't move at all. They basically go from, just like uh, Alberto Mondesi, they do have like a little tilt to them, they do shift back, but it doesn't leave that plane. It doesn't leave the same plane. So he's gonna load from right there, and it's gonna go straight to the ball, and look how late he is on this swing, as you see this. And he just slaps the ball with the wrists, and the, he gets through the ball. Obviously, it's not a good uh, picture because it doesn't look like he hits the ball, but you get the idea. So his hands are going to go through, and then when he finishes his swing, like Mondesi, his bat, his, his bat is twisted already. So this is why this is a very quick swing. His hands get through, he twists the bat, and the bat just flings through the zone. So Mondesi, Kenny Lofton, Charlie Blackman all have this fling of the wrist where they just hit the ball and then the wrists fling and then it's a very compact swing and it's a two-handed swing so that is why these are very quick glitchy swings is what they're so called the chipper jones i did use uh he does obviously have more of an uppercut swing like i said i am using that right now just because he has more power that way and his ball does get launched at a better angle than these guys but they can still hit it out so one more time his foot it's just gonna go straight to the pitcher. It's not gonna be a load. And then his hands are gonna tilt back just a little and then just straight to the ball. And then his wrists and his hands are gonna do the rest of the work. Right there, twist of the hands. That's why it looks like a slap. It looks like he's literally slapping the ball right there. This Charlie Blackman has always been a very good swing to use. I used him in my creative player last year, but I've just been having, like I said, multiple times, lots of success with that Chipper Jones. So. Last time we'll go through this one. Hands started right at his shoulders. His legs come up, his hands separate. He slaps the ball through the zone, the finish. His hands flips the bat around and then he's through. Hopefully some of these stances did help you out if you were not aware of them. There are plenty of stances you can use in this game. I just wanted to go over a few just to give you an idea, just for you to test out. But yeah, if you guys have questions on some of these swings, if you have recommendations on swings you'd like me to try out and maybe do a video on, post those in the comment section below. I will be checking those. And yeah, hopefully you can use these stances. Like I said, test a few of them out. If they work for you, fantastic. These are just ones that have worked for me. I know do work for a lot of people. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed, if this video did help you, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications, that does help. Maybe even hit a like on there. Uh, that does get the video higher for more people to see, and I can do more of these, obviously, in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.